right, what is up guys? Simon from Burgamiz.com. And today's project uh, came to me uh, because something happened. And if you watch some of our previous videos, uh, you'll, you'll remember that I built a new shed um, because the old one uh, caught fire, here it is. And um, basically after almost finishing it, uh, what happened is that it started raining one day really hard and I forgot to close the windows on the shed. Uh, so basically water got in and I was like, uh, well, if I could know if my windows are open or closed uh, when I'm inside the house and I see it starts to rain, that'd be cool. So this project basically came about uh, from that. So let me switch. Um, basically the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to use a Node MCU board. And if you're not familiar with these guys, they have Wi-Fi built in. And uh, you can check out this video that we did uh, before as an introduction on how to install the drivers and how to program these guys. Uh, so we're going to use this to connect to my home Wi-Fi uh, because the shed is actually close enough to the house that I get the Wi-Fi signal inside the uh, shed. And also we're going to use this little board here which has four IR sensors, like these guys. I only have two connected because I only have two windows on my shed, but if you have more you could use all four. And uh, you basically very easy to connect, you get voltage ground and then one digital pin for each one of these guys. Uh, so the way these guys work is that when something gets close to it, it will trigger and go high or low, depending. And you can read that on the Node MCU. What we're going to do, we're going to program the Node MCU to actually create a web page that we can access from inside the house and see if the windows are open or closed. Uh, if you look here, the way I'm going to set up the sensors, they're going to be in front of the window. So when it's closed, it's actually blocking the sensor. So the sensor is triggered. And when the window is open, there's nothing in front of it. Uh, so that way I know if it's open or closed. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna actually use this project uh, year round, or at least in the summer when it's raining. Uh, so I can check if my windows are open or closed. But you could use this for anything. I mean, you could check for doors if they're open or closed or anything you really want. What's cool about this is that it uses Wi-Fi, so it's accessible uh, from inside your house. So without further ado, let's go check out the code and then we'll come back and test it out. All right, so here's the code we're gonna to use today. Uh, so at the beginning, we're including the uh, library for the known MCU. Uh, now, if you're new to the Node MCU, I invite you to check out this tutorial that we did earlier as an introduction, uh, where I talk about how to install the drivers and everything you need to program the Node MCU boards inside the Arduino IDE as we're gonna do here. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, uh, this is including the library, like I said, uh, we have two variables here. One will hold the SSID and the password of your um, your Wi-Fi network. So these X's would be replaced by your uh, own information. Uh, then we start the server. We have a setup here. We're going to use the serial monitor to print out some information, including the uh, IP address that the Node MCU is going to receive from your Wi-Fi. Uh, so this is all what it's doing here. Um, once we have that information, then we can access the web page by typing the IP address directly into a web browser. Uh, then we get to the main loop. So the uh, first thing we check if somebody is accessing the website. If it is, then the Node MCU will create a web page for us to see. Um, as you can see here inside this client.println, uh, basically that's how you send HTML code to uh, create a web page inside the uh, code like here. Uh, so these are all HTML commands. You have uh, HTML, the head, uh, header, uh, style. So basically, if you're not familiar with HTML, uh, just Google it. There's a lot of stuff out there. And uh, this is basic HTML that we're using here. Uh, the syntax is fairly important, so you need to make sure you type everything correctly. Uh, but uh, it's fairly easy to understand. So uh, here we're creating the page. So the body, the background color will be a light blue. And then we get to, uh, we're printing on the web page, uh, shed window status. And then we're doing a digital read of the D0 pin on the Node MCU. And that corresponds to, let's say, Windows number one, uh, window number one. If it's closed, uh, we're going to create a button that will say window number one. And the color of that button will be green if the window is closed. So here we set the right here, light green, as you can see. And we set the font, the height of the box, uh, of the button, and all that. So that all that command here actually creates a button that has 200 pixel 
um, height, 150 width, uh, font size of 13, the background color, meaning the color of the button will be light green, and inside that button, we're going to put window number one. Not windows, but window, like here. Uh, if it's not, meaning the uh, little IR sensor has nothing in front of it, uh, that means the window is open, so we're going to set the button to red. Let me remove this too. And as you can see, the color here is red instead. And we do the same thing for the other sensors since I'm, I'm only using two out of the four. Uh, but if you have more windows or if you want to see if a door is open or anything like that, you can use up to four with that little uh, module. Uh, so here's the same thing, window number two instead of number one, but everything is the same, light green and red. And then we close the HTML to finish the page. Uh, so there you go. So that's the code we're going to use. Like I said, this is basic HTML. If you're not familiar with it, you can uh, research it a little bit. Um, but that's the way you create a page inside uh, the Node MCU so you can access it through uh, the IP address. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to upload that code and let's go back to the testing and check it out. All right, so here we are. We uploaded the code to the Node MCU, the one we were just looking at. And now the, uh, the board is being powered. We get power to the IR board right here. And I'm going to show you what happened uh, when I plugged in the Node MCU into the computer to get it uh, to uh, find the Wi-Fi. So as you can see in the serial monitor, it finds it, and then it gives us the IP. And we can go to that IP, and that's what you see in the window here. Uh, the web page that's being refreshed every five seconds. So right now, both windows are open because there's nothing in front of each one of these. So I'm going to block them one at a time. So I'm going to block the first one. And there we go. Number one is closed. I'm going to do the second one. Now windows two are closed. I'm going to do both. They're both closed. Remove. Wait five seconds. Updates. And they're both open again. So there you go, this works really well. Um, these uh, Node MCU has a pretty good range Wi-Fi wise. I mean, uh, my shed is about, I would say, 50 feet away from my house and it's picking up a fairly strong signal and updating the web page uh, with no problem. So hopefully you guys can find a way or a reason to actually use something like this. Uh, maybe to monitor doors or gates or, uh, you know, being able to use Wi-Fi. And the Node MCU can be powered with a battery, uh, a USB pack, and that would make it totally wireless. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. So let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so there you go, guys. That'll do it for today. Uh, like I always say, if you have any questions or you want more information about all the tutorials that we do on YouTube, please don't hesitate to visit us on uh, our website at brainybest.com slash tutorials. And there you'll find pages for most of the videos that we do on YouTube. And you'll find the schematic, the code, the library we used, uh, also the parts that we use, we do sell in our online store. And if you buy some of those parts from us, uh, it helps a lot. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, that way you'll get notified when we post new stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. So once again, like always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.